for literally just because of the way that he paid people and then notated those payments. This is from NPR. The 34th. Because he falsified business records in commission of another crime. What an unbelievable way to frame that. At all, when we can't afford groceries, this doesn't seem fair. I mean, for the last four years, our government. Oh my, it's not why. Trump wants to do tariffs, which are going to do the opposite. They're all going to make groceries more expensive, especially because half your fucking groceries can't be made in the U.S. He literally says he believes presidents should have a say in the interest rate. That's pretty fucking inflationary. We shower with her. Maybe we should care more about Kamala and her Willie Brown affair. Maybe we should care more about her husband, Doug, getting the name. <laughs> the Willie Brown affair. The Willie Brown was not an affair. That's a lie, too. They, he's or was already separated with his wife, right? Um... Also, went after Trump for taking classified documents from the White House. They literally raided his home Mar-a-Lago. Oh my God, she's gonna frame this one horribly too, isn't she? Oh, she knows she's lying here too. This was a huge, huge scandal. People were going, oh my gosh. She's if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to help with the algorithm, and consider sending a donation through YouTube Super Thanks to directly support the channel, and I'll make sure to reply. I want to see. I've never ever heard the words January 6th come out of Brent, Brett Cooper's mouth, and it really annoys me because I don't think she knows anything about it. But welcome back to the comment section. My name is Brett Cooper. Why? Why is it? I was gonna have to deal with it. And to all my subscribers and people who watch these episodes regularly, I just want to say that today's video might feel a bit different, and that's because I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that you guys might share this video with some of your friends on the left who I'm sure are texting you or posting online. They're questioning why you voted the way you did, wondering if your friendship can survive this crisis, or hopefully, again, fingers crossed, this lands in the YouTube algorithm for people who are scared of the Trump presidency. They're wondering why on earth this 23-year-old woman would vote for Trump and vote against her rights, human rights, all of that. And today, I'm not even gonna try to change your mind. Maybe I do. That'd be cool. For but real. I just want to try and bridge the gap, maybe even share some of the joy and the unity that happens. She does. She's just paid the lie. So make sure that you like this video if you've not already. Please subscribe to the comment section channel. Probably, Maybe if you're a new viewer and you like it, you should stick around. And of course, ring that notification bell to stay up to date on all of our episodes. All right, so first of all, while I still have your attention at the top of this video, if you guys listen to nothing else in this episode, I just want you to know that you have already survived a Trump presidency. We've done that before. You lived through... <laughs> 2016 to 2020, just like we survived a Biden presidency. I mean, even though we kind of barely stated by considering the state of the economy and being on the brink of war, but Americans are resilient. It <laughs> <laughs> we barely skated by considering the state of the economy. Oh, man. Oh, I mean, like, it was bad for, you know, a while because of fucking COVID, but, um, you know... <laughs> Uh, you, you say that for for the last year of Trump's term too, like yeah, obviously. And then like we had a really good recovery. Uh, and then you know, uh... we'll be okay, even if this is not the outcome that you were expecting. And yes, losing sucks. I posted this on TikTok last night, but we literally have all been there. Twenty twenty felt awful. It was literally terrible. It is so hard when you lose, and the election feels so consequential, like it happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what did you do? What did you do after you lost in twenty twenty? What did you? What did you guys try to do? Like what? Like. What what did that, you know, <laughs> the speculation about idea a year or so ago there's a plan to cut oil production by 3% to increase prices and better meet shareholder demands. Oh, okay. the last two cycles. But I just want to remind you and say that under Trump, our money did go further. Our border was more secure. We had peace across the globe because world leaders respected him. They were intimidated by him and American power, which is objectively oh, a very yep. good thing. And millions and millions of Americans, your friends, your neighbors, your parents, people you don't know, felt at ease because of this. And they voted because they want that feeling back again. And most importantly, and I have to say this because I've been seeing it all over. <laughs> you know what? I don't, I don't, I don't disagree. They want, they don't understand how economics works and they voted because inflation was high. This is why, this is why like all incumbent parties, it's part of the reason why like all incumbent parties did really poorly. I, I think this is literally the first year on record where like, all incumbent parties uh, lost votes. I think in large part that was due to inflation. For my social media, especially for my live friends, in Trump's first term, your rights were not taken away. And yes, we'll get into the specifics. We will talk about Roe v. Wade. All well, I mean, uh, Roe v. Wade, but I, I guess that but we were very free and i genuinely think that we are going to get even freer in trump's second term and if you did have a terrible time starting in 2016 i would very gently and genuinely kindly urge you to take a second and just look inward and evaluate whether that was really because of trump and the things that he did to you or because of what people told you about trump and wanted you to believe because in my experience of being somebody who was on the right but growing up in a very liberal city working in hollywood being friends with like 95 percent liberals growing up the pictures painted because by trump Biden, and the media have been wasteful vastly, spending vastly true. but i understand that you still have concern american rescue plan wasteful spending also led you to first full Job, uh, the first like full job recovery in 40 years. So let's talk about it. Let's dive in to all of these fears. Now, I've been seeing my friends on the other side lamenting, being genuinely scared, genuinely very concerned over their futures and their safety, and they continue to cite one big overarching issue, human rights. Everybody's talking about human rights, so women's rights, gay rights, minority rights, most specifically. So let's start with abortion, which was basically the issue of the 2024 election. I have to laugh a little bit, and this might ruffle some feathers, but this was kind of a non-issue in the 2024 election. Like, Kamala was VP. Really? for four years. Biden was president for four years and they did not overturn <laughs> the Dobbs decision. It is not possible. It is ridiculous for her to... What? 
Uh, yeah, they d didn't have enough votes in the Senate to codify Roe v. Wade, right? Ron well, on that issue and promise you guys that she will be able to fix the situation. I mean, that was like the backbone of her campaign. And it was for nothing. It was just to get everybody emotionally riled up. And on the other side of the aisle, regardless... I don't even... I... I the backbone of her... Like, Kamala Harris, of course, talked about abortion a lot because that's an important issue to a lot of people. But, like... I, I don't even I, I don't even agree with that. It was not the backbone of her campaign. She had she had much more detailed plans of what to do about the economy even uh, than than for abortion. I guess the the only plan you have to write out for abortion is codify codify Roe v. Wade, but like of what Democrats have said, Trump has reiterated it time and time again that he uh, commerce clause local place party obviously will not sign a federal abortion ban. That is not what he wants. He got Roe v. Wade overturned because he believed that it should be the yeah, power. He's also not gonna codify oh we admit that he got Roe v. Wade overturned, but um uh what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, but it's also not going to codify Roe v. Wade, right? And in fact, since Roe v. Wade was overturned, abortions have actually increased. In no, wasn't to rile people up to try to hold their voters hostage under the uh, promise it'd be done if she was reelected. Um, I, I mean, like, what? <laughs> That seems like a harsh. It's just like codifying Roe v. Wade would happen under Kamala Harris, where it probably would not happen under Donald Trump. If you want to say the holding them, that's holding voters hostage or whatever. That seems I don't. That seems unfair. But. Access has increased in most states because of the abortion bill. Obviously, things in red states have changed, but you can freely travel if you need that care, and that is something that Trump believes in. Of course, this is you know much to the dismay of many pro-life voters. Full transparency, I'm pro-life. I don't really like any of this, but you know what? I still voted for the man. Trump believes strongly in the exceptions of the incest and life of the mother, which is something that you guys talk about all the time. That you're very concerned, but he is on record having concerns with six-week heartbeat bills. His wife wrote an entire book, which. She talks about her pro-choice beliefs. I mean, guys, like they lied incessantly about this issue. Like Trump almost lost voters because of his stance on abortion on the right side of the aisle. Meanwhile, Kamala and Biden were relentless in tweeting. He will take away all your rights. He is so pro-abortion. He literally is not. But the one thing that I think all of us can agree on, one of the many reasons that we love Trump is because he doesn't bend a knee or compromise his beliefs. You know, take him or leave him as he is. He does not play games like the rest of... That's one way to put it. Uh, it's just like, uh, it's just like the absolute, like, like you would never say this about like any other candidate that like cannot cannot for the life of him like speak in a presidential manner at all. Like you see politicians. That's so <laughs> oh, he he doesn't. He, he always says what he thinks. Refreshing and why we like him. Now the same women that are obviously very concerned with abortion are also concerned with pro-life laws in these red states impacting the care that they can receive. And so I will say this once and for all: miscarriage care does not equal abortion. It does not equal abortion reproductive care. And if your doctors do not understand the difference between those two things and refuse you care, that is medical malpractice. That is not Trump's fault. Trump did not do that to you or to those doctors. That is medical malpractice. Because logically, there's no possible way that they could, um, they could know that they'd get the power necessary to do that. Well, sure. And under the current uh, failing, failing administration, they still going to pull it off, even under Biden Harris presidency. They didn't even have to challenge the court's decision to review Roe v. They didn't even challenge the court's decision to re uh, review Roe v. Wade. I don't know why. I don't think that challenge would go anywhere if they did it. But um, we didn't. We haven't had enough votes in the Senate since fucking Obama to actually codify Roe v. Wade, right? That's the whole issue. But we did at least get the Marriage Equality Act passed, right? Um, I, I don't like. I don't know what you mean by under the failing administration, we couldn't pull it off. Unfortunately, medical malpractice is the third leading cause of death in the United States. So let's take this issue up with medical industry and big pharma and not blame it on Trump. And hopefully RFK Jr. will shake things up. Hopefully we will get through that corruption because it is... <laughs> Kill me, dude. RK Jr. Thanks. Yeah. What's going on in these red states? Because none of those laws prevent you from getting miscarriage care or the reproductive care that you need. With stories like Amber Thurman in Georgia... Promise they could have simply done it when? Obama? Or... It's better than doing nothing and saying, hey, look, we tried and failed rather than standing by and do nothing. Abortion bans. We could have done what? My, like, to do the Roe v. Wade shit, don't you need, because you need, whatever, 60 Senate votes for the filibuster or whatever? Which there are none because he did not make those laws. Did not kill her. No matter what Kamala said, no matter what the media said, she died very tragically, very unfortunately, because of abortion complications and delayed care. The abortion pill put her into septic shock. She I think she is right about this. Waited but... hours to go to the hospital, and for some godforsaken reason, when she got there, her doctor said, "Ah, you know, we'll wait until tomorrow." To... If a woman is raped as a child from a rape, the can await uh, rapist fight for custody, so the woman can pay him every month for raping her. It was, it was a question that made me a choice guy. I don't think. Um, I don't think that. I don't see. I don't think that. I listen, I'm pro-choice, but I don't, I don't know if that logic works, buddy. <laughs> to do a DNC or a hysterectomy. We'll just push it off. Here's some antibiotics. Just sit here in this bed. We'll figure it out tomorrow. And she died. Another thing people don't bring up is that this hospital is also one of the poorest reviewed in the entire state of Georgia. Two stars. And no, those reviews are not just about Amber. To codify really it, you um, just need a Senate to make a federal law. You need an amendment. Yes. Uh, well, co what do you mean? Codifying it is making a federal law. Localist, think, localist thinks like everything's unconstitutional because he's, he's a... Whatever, a strict uh, constitutional originalist dumbass bullshit person, but. 
hundreds of them this morning. They are all about their own. Also, he's incredibly dumb, so don't take anything he says seriously. He still believes that you should adjust real wages to inflation, even though real wages have already been adjusted to inflation, and no matter how much they break it down, he won't concede that it's a really dumb thing to do. They are not in light of the story. That hospital is just that bad, and that is a problem in and of itself. Now, Cat Ponds, you guys might know her on TikTok. I think that their TikTok page is just called The Ponds. She's an amazing creator. She gained a following after talking about her and her husband's infertility journey, the death of their firstborn daughter Edie, her IVF journey, which gave them her second daughter Matilda. Cat has needed real miscarriage and fertility care firsthand, and she needed this while living in a red state. She's never gotten political. She hasn't really shared much of these stories at all, but this is what she posted yesterday. She was talking about the stories people do know and they don't know, and she said the one that you do know is me losing Edie. After she passed a 25 week gestation, I was immediately offered an induction or medical abortion. My life was not in any danger, but my body was not in labor and did not recognize my baby had passed yet. No doctor even suggested that I would be forced to carry my baby until my body decided to deliver her or until my life was in danger. This was very clearly a silver. Some would say miscarriage or abortion, although I do not. That was properly and quickly handled with no mention of the law in place. This hospital is extremely well known and would not risk breaking any laws for little old me or anyone else in the situation. This was I don't think you're thinking legal. goddess into 2008. What, what, what? The story that I've not shared is when I was pregnant with Matilda after my surclage and when I was told what that water thinking? broke at 21 the... weeks, I was pushed heavily to have an immediate abortion. My life was not in danger and neither was Matilda's. Her heart was still beating. Again, this is in a red state and doctors are saying, okay, things don't look great. You should go ahead and have an abortion. I was in the same accredited hospital in a red state. Uh, uh, she keeps saying red state. Now, I, I, from what I've seen, I, I didn't do much reading into it. They, whatever doctors in Georgia who uh, let that woman die, whatever, probably were misunderstanding the law. They probably, they could have done that abortion, obviously. Um... Like, 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 all the states have, you know, life of the mother exceptions or whatever. But, like, there are a lot of red states that also did protect abortion rights because they had it on ballot measures. In fact, I believe literally every state that had a ballot measure about abortion um, it, it protected abortion rights. Whereas the only states that banned it just banned it without any, without any ballot measure just um, through the state legislature. If we simply compare the real wages to inflation, maybe we could have prevented 2008 and maybe 2000. I have no clue. We are so dumb. And was that gestation passed when the abortion law permits legal abortion? This nurse told the doctors me that the or your lawyers. What do you mean? Maybe living is slim to none, so we can take care of this as soon as you'd like to prevent you from more hurt. This like makes me want to cry because I've seen her daughter and she's just so beautiful. Obviously, I did not take that option, even though this nurse thought that I was crazy for choosing to stay pregnant. And Matilda is here, alive and well. But the point that I am making is that the media has been sharing extremely rare cases similar to mine, often involving medical malpractice, to scare you into believing that your options to handle a very wanted pregnancy with complications are limited and dangerous. It is simply not the case. Now she went on and she talked about a few other things. She shared messages that she's been receiving from OBGYNs and labor and delivery nurses saying thank you for sharing that thank you for saying what the media will not tell women and so she shared this and i'm sharing this with you to hopefully show you that it is not always what the media makes it out to be find better doctors hold them accountable do not be afraid because the care that you need in these rare situations is legal and trump does not want to stay in the way the of doctor for the abortion of the lawyers tell the doctor not to do it uh, involved in his I, I i have no clue i have not looked into any of the cases where people have allegedly died to uh, abortion ban laws because i don't Maybe, maybe, listen, maybe my woman shadows are going to get mad at me for saying this. I just don't, I just, I don't, I don't care that much. I, I do care about abortion. Okay. I do think abortion should be legal after like 20 weeks. Okay. To be clear, like I am, I, I will argue, I will argue my abortion stance. I just don't like, I just don't, I never care to look into like the specifics of any of these cases. Cause like, it's just, it's just like, I, I would rather just fight on shit abortion be legal or not like his campaign they will fight to hold doctors and big farm accountable to hold our food conglomerates accountable so that moms can stop worrying about what their kids are eating and the accelerating rates of chronic illness and obesity in this country and by the way one of the very cool things that you know trump 2.0 has done is by the way market. obesity is declining okay obesity is after 20 weeks yeah that's probably about where i draw a line i don't know um Obesity rate is declining because of fucking Ozempic, baby. We got it. We did it. It's probably not just because of Ozempic, but that is that is one reason. Um, we we saw like the first drop in obesity like last year. Uh, same thing with overdose deaths. Although obviously, like both of those have been rising for quite a while, so it's not like they're back down to where they were a while ago. But um, they did drop. To himself by people. Oh, you said I like abortion after. Yeah, I want abortion to be legal only after 20 weeks. <laughs> That's my position. And the RFK is incredibly pro-choice. And you know what? Even pro-life people are excited about him because they know that even though they disagree with him on that, they know. I don't know if I uh, say RFK is incredibly pro-choice. I'm pretty sure there's a clip of RFK saying that he would support a, I think he said a supporting a national ban at 15 weeks, which is like relatively pro-choice, but I want to say that's incredibly pro-choice and pro-choice. For the first, first time in decades, obesity rates in the U.S. are not on the rise. The adult obesity rate fell for, to about 40%, down from 41.9% in 2020. Mandatory. <laughs> I'm pro-choice, but I still enjoy bullying pro-choice about the text. Um, about the text abortion is murder. Mandatory abortion post-birth only true. 
No, that he will do good things. You don't know if the kid's annoying or evil till you see how it behaves. He will help protect them. And while he might be for choice, other people who are working with Trump are not. There will be this diversity of opinion and voices fighting for you and fighting for your families. That is why so many. Oh my God! After Kamala Harris said that she was gonna put a Republican in her fucking cabinet, and after Donald Trump surrounds himself with like the most lunatic people ever because the la Trump's last cabinet refuses to endorse him. Literally, what is it like forty out of uh, forty-four of his top advisors all refuse to endorse him and like work for him again because. Trump is an insane childist, like, uh, child, child, uh, what's it for him? Child, childish. I forgot about it. Childish, um, dumbass. Like, well, are you kidding me? After Bill Barr quit because Trump, because he wouldn't go along with the election fraud claims, and then Jeffrey Rhodes that got put in place of attorney general, and then Trump wanted to fire Jeffrey Rosen and put in Jeffrey Clark in when Jeffrey Rosen wouldn't go in with the election fraud claims. Are you fucking kidding me? Like, Came over from the left because they were so excited about this. Now Trump also wants to give tax credits to families, wants to make IVF and fertility treatments covered is. by the insurance companies or by the government. He said this just a couple months ago. This is not a man who is taking away your birth control or your ability to have children or your ability to get an abortion if you want. I mean, on Truth Social a few months ago, he said, "I have never and will never advocate imposing restrictions on birth control or other contraceptives." And yet, that is a lie that has been parroted for years at this point from the mainstream media. So, point blank, full stop. This was a non-issue. Now, second up, I know that a lot of people are concerned with LGBTQ issues. In fact, I was on like my private Instagram account with all of my old friends, and oh my gosh, I kept seeing the same infographic posted saying, "You know, here's therapy for queer voices. You know, we're going to advocate for you if you need mental." Health support in light of this election, and I was just sitting. <laughs> don't, don't you know Trump held a gay held a gay flag up in 2016? Yeah, I was like, how how are people so genuinely afraid? Like, I just want to remind you that Trump was actually the first president who came into office supporting gay marriage. And I know things move fast these days, and we were all young when other people were in office. But that was something that the Obamas, the Bidens, the Clintons were not in favor of until 2010. Obama came into office not supporting same-sex marriage. I believe that marriage. How did uh how did JD Vance vote on uh the Marriage Equality Act? Uh, respect for Marriage Act. A right wing, uh, he would oppose Respect for Marriage Act, bill to ensure federal marriage. But this says, wait, when was he, I thought, when was J.D. Vance elected to the Senate? I thought it was in office when this bill was voted on. Was he not? Was he still campaigning? The Obama passed same-sex marriage federally. Well, they, um, the court decision was made under him, right? But that wasn't like him passing a thing. The, uh, I guess the Respect for Marriage Act is what it's called. Um, this was passed, I think, in 2022 after Roe v. Wade was overturned, right? Yeah. I don't know. How, how do I see who <laughs> voted on it? Marriage uh, is the union between a man and a woman. I believe that marriage is not just a bond, but a sacred bond between a man and a woman. And yet there are videos from Trump in the 90s and the early 2000s being like, hey, yeah, dudes like dudes, you know, free love. What do I care? Here's what senators would have for uh, or against the Respect for Marriage Act opposes. Where Shady Vance was he? Yeah, he might not have been in office yet, but I thought he was. Yeah, he wasn't. Damn. Well, never mind then. And yet you never see that side of him. Trump also but also, it was mo like literally all Republicans who opposed it, right? <laughs> so. Appointed the first gay cabinet member to the U.S. government, and he launched the first global initiative to decriminalize homosexuality around the world. He is not wanting to keep you all from loving who you love or marrying who you want to marry, and neither are the people that he is surrounded with. Just listen to this. So my message to gay Americans is this. Yeah. You're free to love who you want, to marry who you want, if you want, without the government standing in your way. But that doesn't mean that boys should be able to compete with girls in girls' sports. 100%. And that doesn't mean that we subject our kids wow. to over-sexualization wow. or genital mutilation or chemical castration. And I think we should... Nice one. Be able to draw those distinctions. And I completely agree. We definitely have lines in the sand that some of you might not agree with, but I actually think that they are very common sense lines in the sand, which kind of takes us to what Trump will do on these issues. Because Trump does want to protect women's faces. And for those of you who are concerned with women's rights, I hope you see how important and positive this is. I mean, Trump wants to protect Title IX, which, by the way, Biden Harris tried to rewrite at the expense of women this year. Trump wants to keep biological men. <laughs> the Title IX thing was so. 
I that was like so not a big deal. Didn't it literally just prevent blanket bans of like uh, of banning every transgender athlete from competing, and you could still do shit to you know not let boys compete in women's sports? Like really, really, there's a big issue. There's a big issue. This is the the big issue here. You have clear scientific biological advantages out of women's sports. I still don't get why gay couples should get tax break, especially yeah, before they adopt. Thrive. Don't straight couples get tax breaks as soon as they marry before they adopt what? and win on their or own before they have kids fear of having to compete against a six foot three broad shoulders man who was born as a man and went through puberty as a man i mean this is why we fought for title nine in the first place so that women would have privacy and have security and have our own spaces. <sighs> i mean that's just common sense that is actually being very <laughs> thank you why is kanye west for the five bits i appreciate it two women and this big one that i know a lot of people hate he wants to stop the medical transitioning of minors and maybe we will never agree on this and this is something that i personally will never compromise on to us and to him it makes no sense. And it seems totally wrong that children, children with developing minds can go to the doctor, be given an approval note, literally from- Localist, is it a, is it a, um, is it against the constitution to pass a law banning states from, um, from allowing the medical transition of children? Or? My therapist online, which yes, is happening and can immediately be put on puberty blocking drugs that are literally used to chemically castrate criminals and sex offenders in our society. Do what you want as an adult. <laughs> why, why does the, what, like- Sure, like the puberty blockers, I'm, I'm sure, like, it can be the same drugs you said, like, chemically castrate sex offenders or whatever. It doesn't make them, doesn't make them bad, but okay, nice intuition pump there. So okay, you nice you one. Marry you marry. I don't really care, but we need to stop. Mida, he thinks basically, like, every, uh, he, he, he's a very strict constitutional originalist, except for it when it goes against Trump, um... Uh, so he thinks that like 90% of the bills that we have passed are unconstitutional. Stop chemically castrating children. We need to stop chopping off their genitals and their breasts before they are even developed under the guise of kindness and inclusivity, often rendering them infertile and without the ability to ever experience sexual pleasure or ever have an orgasm. <laughs> this is just, it's not true. I'm like, we have, um, like, like the long-term studies on effective beauty blockers, my understanding are, are not that great when it comes to, are they actually good for mental health and like gender affirmation? But in terms of, do they prevent future orgasms or, or leave them permanently infertile? We've been using puberty blockers to prevent, you know, precocious puberty for a while. So we do have studies on that. And like most of the research shows, yeah, it is like, it's fine for, for that stuff. They like most of the, most of, like there was that one study I read a while ago, like a year ago at this point that said like 99% of the time, like uh, as soon as you stop puberty blockers, you can immediately become fertile again. So like orgasm in their adult life. That is insane. And we're doing that to 10 year old kids. Kids that often grow out of these feelings. Kids were usually just going through weird hormonal changes and don't know where they're fitting in. Kids that often detransition later in life, but cannot undo the irreversible damage that has been done to them by doctors. It must stop. But other than that, I really do not think that Trump cares about who you sleep with and who you marry. Like he genuinely has bigger issues to concern himself with, like unprecedented inflation, the recession, impending nuclear war, Israel, Palestine, <laughs> Iran, gas prices, all of it. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, one by one, one by one. Unprecedented inflation. Not unprecedented. The inflation in the 1970s and then the 1980s was higher. And also, it, it, we're at like 2.5% inflation right now. Like, it, it, depending on what measure you look at, like PC, CPI, core PC, core... Uh, CPI will show different things. So, but between two and three percent inflation, I don't think any measure is above three percent anymore, right? Isn't even is core CPI above three percent? I don't think it is. Core CPI, Fred. Uh, percent change from year ago. No, it's still at three percent. Okay, three point two, right now. But, like, this is not unprecedentedly high inflation. We just go back in time. There's a big spike here. This is the 1990s. It wasn't as big, but the 1980s and 1970s were a lot worse. Pending nuclear war, Israel, Palestine, Iran, gas prices, all of it. He can True or false, the 14th Amendment requires the state to license uh, a marriage between two people of the same sex to recognize the... Uh, I, I I, mean, it. I. that's what the Supreme Court ruled, right? I mean, I. there are probably arguments for and against it, but, like, the, the, again, the issue is... Maybe you have a legitimate point here, but you are unironically so unbelievably dumb and other things that I'm not going to trust a single word that comes out of your mouth. <laughs> but, like, I could see there being an argument that the 14th Amendment protects abortion. I could see there being an argument that the 14th Amendment protects marriage equality. Um, and maybe there's good arguments against that. The issue is those good arguments are not going to come for you from you because you are incredibly retarded.
cares about that a lot more than he cares about involving himself in your bedroom. Just say. I mean, Americans can barely afford the grocery store anymore, let alone a good quality steak, but thanks to- Oh my God. Bro, kill me. Uh, food inflation is up a little bit recently. I think the forecasts show inflation going up a little bit more, but the Fed is still- the Fed is still confident in cutting rates. <laughs> like, is Jay Powell just a dumbass? <laughs> like, you have to worry about that because they are trying to make this holiday season more affordable for you. Because let's be honest, between the holiday chaos and questionable meat quality at grocery stores, preparing the perfect meal can feel overwhelming. And that is where Good Rancher steps in to transform your 2024 Thanksgiving experience. They are not just delivering meat; they are delivering. And okay, I don't care about the meat sponsorship. The biggest thing I'm thinking about right now. Now, a lot of things, RFK is going to be working on is getting us all good quality meat, good, healthy food. But I know that's not what a lot of you are thinking about right now. Now, a lot of people are also very concerned with racism. We all live through 2020. We lived through BLM. That was like the biggest thing in the last four years, maybe before this election, because it's been crazy. But that was huge. And obviously, that's an important issue to care about. And it makes sense. <laughs> Is that really the bit? That was the biggest thing in the last four years, BLM. People are concerned considering that the media has called Trump a racist for over nine years at this point. So I want to tell you that minorities in America literally won this election for Donald Trump. From blacks to Hispanics, to Asians, they came out in droves for him. Flipping minority heavy yeah, Republicans aware. have not won literally since the 1800s. <laughs> what are you doing? Why are you this still being? <laughs> Thank you for the five bits. Why is Kanye West again? I appreciate it. Like what? this is, yeah, we've all seen the polling. Yeah, black voters and Hispanic voters oh, are shifting away from God. Democrats and towards. Trump. Trump is also the candidate in favor of mass deportation. And also, I, what are the, you know, the Central Park Five thing and the fucking hotel, uh, not renting a black people thing. Yeah, all that stuff. Like, they're like, okay. Knowingly, happily. For these, don't, these don't preclude each other at all. <laughs> Well, he doesn't talk down to them. He doesn't consider them victims who need white saving. He genuinely wants to empower them. That is what he's been saying for this entire campaign. That's what he's been saying for the last nine years, which I really think made a difference in their eyes. I mean, in his first term, he helped flood their communities with economic prosperity. He overturned Biden's 1996 crime bill. The oh, but as soon as, like, if Kamala Harris had this fucking page, uh, which he does, and they did do this, they would be losing their shit. Like, what, what about all the things Kamala Harris wants to do for black people? Like, you all call that insane. Like, what? Unfortunately, impacted black Americans. He funded HBCUs, including Howard University, where Kamala herself attended. And yes, he might be brown. And Biden funded them more. <laughs> I'm, pre I'm pretty sure Trump actually cut funding to HBI, uh, historically black colleges. And um, why did Kamala lose? Uh, a few reasons. I think a big one was just inflation. I think Americans, I think, um, I think they just don't like inflation. <laughs> They hate inflation. They hate inflation. I think Kamala did a bad job reaching people through like alternative media outlets. I think, you know, um, I think those two things were probably the main things. But I'm pretty sure Biden uh, versus Trump. HB, what is it? Uh, historically black college and university. Is that what it is? Funny. Well, President Trump claimed broad uh, HBCU support, but reality shows otherwise. What do you think of Pelosi and AOC saying they should have ran a primary? Um, I don't know. I I don't know. I could. The issue is, it's so easy to like retroactively say that we should have run a primary. But, like, I could see, like, there's very clearly a, a timeline where we did a primary and then retroactively we say we should have done a primary, right? Like, um, uh, it, you know, Kamala Harris obviously, like, she lost those seven swing states. That was horrible. But, like, the House um, did a lot better than Biden's internal polling was showing. Um, I think the same thing is true of the Senate. So there's a potential that, like, Maybe Harris, you know, obviously did bad in the Electoral College, but maybe she saved some House and Senate races that otherwise, um, that, that otherwise, uh, would have gone Republican. Trump signed a bill that reauthorized, uh, $225 million for minority serving institutions, included $85 million in funding for HBCUs. Biden provided significantly more support to HBCUs. They received more than $16 billion in funding under him. Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> Administration sought to highlight past wrongs with a $12 billion funding um, funding disparity between historically black colleges that received land grants for peers. <laughs> yeah, Biden did a lot more for HBCUs. The Biden smirk is Did you see the picture of Biden looking at the quantum computer? That's really, it's really funny. Uh, Biden quantum computer. 
Which, to be fair, okay, is an understandable reaction for a man his age, okay? <laughs> Listen to the picture I'm thinking of. There's one where he looks really confused. It's funny. Oh, yeah, here it is. <laughs> Sometimes he's made some off-color comments, but he's not a racist. And to be honest, who has it? There are videos of Biden and Bill and Hillary saying things that are even worse. And people didn't care. Now, he also doesn't want to deport crazy. people because they're brown. He wants to deport them because they're criminals, because they came into this country illegally. <laughs> he's not even clear on who he wants to deport. I don't even know who he wants to deport still. I don't, I don't, even, I don't even know. He, won't even, he wanted to deport Haitians, and they're here legally under temporary protected status. Like, Many of them actually are criminals, huh. drugs and chaos, inciting gang violence throughout our country, killing innocent Americans like Lincoln Riley. And Americans are then why do, you, why do you shoot down the border bill, Brett? Brett, why did he shoot down the border bill? The border bill that would have passed and would have helped this issue. Why do, you, why do you shoot it down? Because they're looking around at their cities and their counties and they're going, why are all these people here? Why are they getting money from the government? Why are they getting free housing? Why are they getting loaded visa debit cards? When our government doesn't seem to care about... <laughs> Mr. Alien seen this? Hello, Paul. Good morning, Mr. Trump cleans bathroom and works as a waiter. <laughs> what Thank the fuck? you very much. This is the first time I've carried luggage for anybody, okay. including myself, in a long time. It's been a long <laughs> time, but it was fun. The life of a bellman... Room service. Look at this. This is serious room service. I hope you give me a nice big fat tip. Have a good time. Thank you. Okay. At us at all when we can't afford groceries. This doesn't seem fair. I mean, for the last four years, our government. Oh my! Stop! Why? Kamala, as the borders are, has basically been. What, I, what is Trump? What I treat like? Trump wants to do tariffs, which are going to do the opposite. They're all going to make groceries more expensive, especially because half your fucking groceries can't be made in the U.S. There is no domestic production for a lot of the fruits that we get here, right? They can only be grown in, a, in certain regions of the world. Um, and, like, right now, you can go to the grocery store, you can get, like, fresh grapes any time of year because they're grown in different parts of the world at different times. Trump's plans are going to hugely negatively affect that. What else does Trump want to do? Oh, Trump wants to end the independence of the Federal Reserve. Oh, you did like, he literally says he believes presidents should have a say the interest rate. That's pretty fucking inflationary. Uh, we can deduce this from like a, you know, uh, just like logically, like obviously politicians have bad incentives when it comes to helico helicoptering money in, in, into the economy. Like usually Republicans are, and conservatives are the one that's, that care about this stuff. They're like, oh, Biden's printing money and we're inflation. Trump literally wants to do that. Um. Uh, like what else? Like he wants to get rid of people like Lena Khan and like the the FTC, which have been um, uh, uh like pretty he going in heavily on like on antitrust stuff. Like, <sighs> I care more about these illegal immigrants than I do. Like, like we literally had the um the not we got rid of non competes until I'm pretty sure that was overturned. We had the like one click to cancel um like subscription things. We started cracking down on like junk fees as well. Like. American citizens. So no wonder they flip. I hope we can all agree that people coming in illegally is a bad thing. We don't hate immigrants. I mean, Trump has literally said time and time. I love it. No, it's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. Time again that he loves immigrants, that this country was built on the back of legal immigrants. But that's the thing. They're legal. In addition to human rights, which again has been the biggest thing that I've seen all over social media, again, coming from people that I love, that I've been friends with, there are a lot of people who are enraged that we would vote for a woman hating racist felon. 34 felony counts. I keep seeing that be posted literally. I mean, yeah, he is a, he is a, you know, convicted felon or is that all, is that just, is that lawfare? Is that all made up? And then is that, um, <laughs> what about the other criminal charges he has, you know, specifically about like, you know, conspiracy to defraud the United States. Do we care about that? Do we care about conspiracy to defraud the United States? Literally everywhere. Now, hopefully I dispelled some of the ideas that he is a woman hater trying to take away your rights or that he's some racist considering he's very popular. I, it, the woman hater thing does not have to do with his stance on abortion. The woman hater thing has to do with like the multiple, multiple women that have accused him of sexual assault. The one that actually accused him in civil court of sexual assault and Trump was found guilty on um, based on the preponderance of evidence in civil court. Um, based on the like, you know, grab her by the pussy quote, um, <laughs> based on the there's another there's another. Oh, all the like weird quotes he's made about is um, made about his daughter. Um, like positive track record but yes let's talk about the 34 felonies that people are blasting he wasn't found guilty he was found liable didn't i, I literally said civil civilly liable didn't i i said civilly liable based on a preponderance of evidence like i covered my ass so hard there are you kidding me you're still mad at me for that I like now on this side of the aisle we call that lawfare we call that the weaponization of the justice system all done in an attempt to <laughs> discredit trump in the public eye and take him down because they see him as a threat to their very very corrupt government system which he is by the way and in my opinion that is a very, very good <laughs> thing but the 34 counts 
they are related to a hush money trial. And obviously, felony charges, they sound awful, they sound very, very scary, but they are literally just- You didn't cover? I swear to God I said libel on a preponderance of evidence, but maybe I said guilty. If I meant, if I said guilty, I meant, um, liable, civilly liable. Because of the way that he paid people and then notated those payments. This is from NPR, the 34 felony counts in Trump's hush money- Or literally just because of the way that he paid people and then notated those payments. This is from NPR, the 34 because he falsified business records in commission of another crime. What an unbelievable way to frame that. Oh, just because of how he notated his payments. Falsifying business records in commission of another crime. Are you fucking kidding me? Felony counts in Trump's hush money trial. Invoices for legal services guilty on 11 out of 11 charges. Checks paid for legal services. Ledger entries for legal expenses. I mean, guys, we're getting twisted up because of how he paid people. We have bigger fish. What the fuck is the What? <laughs> What an unbelievable way to frame that. Dude, we're, get, we're getting... We're, I can't believe they're charging him because it's just how he paid people. Falsifying records in commission of another crime. In commission of paying Story Daniels for not leaking the fact that he fucking cheated on his wife of her. Like, what... Oh, my God. To fry. That part of the case usually gets overshadowed by a woman named Stormy Daniel. She is a porn star who I think it was back... Because it's fucking... It was... It's... It's a... What, what's the crime exactly? It was, like, paying off her so she wouldn't, um... Uh, wouldn't reveal the story, right? And he falsified business records to cover that up. Like, what... In 2015 and then again in 2018 accused Trump of having an affair resulting in him having her sign an NDA and paid her that hush money and guess what all of that was legal you are allowed to have people sign an NDA you are allowed to pay them money compensate them for signing that NDA if you work in the corporate world if you are higher up in a company when you leave that you're not allowed to falsify business records I'm pretty sure the NDA part is legal but there's a uh, there's like a um there's like some campaign financing that he's accused of violating too right because it was falsifying business records in commission of another crime Company, you probably also will sign an NDA and you will get a bonus for doing so. Here it is. It is not illegal to pay somebody compensation in exchange for an NDA. But this whole story of the affair really went crazy when Stormy took the stand a few years later. And this is an unbelievable way to frame this. This is intentional, by the way. Brett Cooper, absolutely. Brett Cooper or her fucking writers. I don't know. Maybe Brett Cooper doesn't know this. Brett Cooper knows that she's being super misleading here. Who's Trump like, not just having an affair, but of her, which I'm sorry is absurd because up until that point, she had said that this alleged encounter was all consensual. Why did you f*** Donald Trump? I have no idea. <laughs> Wait, who? Which girl? Alleged encounter. Trump not just having an affair, but of an NDA. But this whole story of the affair really went crazy when Stormy took the stand a few years later and accused Trump not just of having an affair, but of. Oh, Stormy Daniels. Yeah, I don't I'm know about the absurd. rape stuff with Stormy Daniels. Because up but... until that point, she had said that this alleged encounter was all consensual. Why did you Donald Trump? I have no idea. <laughs> okay, but you say it's not a Me Too case. It is not a Me Too case. I mean, I wasn't uh, assaulted. I wasn't attacked or or coerced or blackmailed. They tried to shove me in the Me Too box to further right. their own agenda. She was not. She was not coerced. She was not assaulted. This is not a Me Too case. It's important to note that Trump has denied all of this. He denied ever having relations with that woman. And I do not. <laughs> <laughs> he also lied about even having met E. Jean Carroll, right? Like, like he does this. Like, when a woman accuse him of sexual assault, like, he, he lies about it. Yeah. Because uh, we, we know he met Eugene Carroll, right? Because, or E. Jean Carroll. He, it's E. Jean Carroll, right? Um, uh, because we have that, we have like photographs of them together, don't they have, um, yeah. I don't know if he did or not. I don't know if we'll ever know if he actually did. I would be very sad if he had an affair, but that is not going to sway people's votes. Like they are voting for a president to lead this country. They're not voting for God. They're not voting for a pastor. And if you want to talk about people's personal lives, again, I would gently suggest that maybe if this really got you riled up, then maybe you should care more about Bill and Hillary Clinton and the interns, about Monica Lewinsky. Maybe we should care more about... <laughs> we didn't, we, they did that while they were, after they were already elected? <laughs> <laughs> and they're not running for office? What? First of all, they're not running. Nobody's voting for Hillary Clinton and nobody's voting for Bill Clinton right now, too. They did that after they were elected. What are you fi uh, what were, are we going to hold the Democrats responsible for something that Bill Clinton Bill Clinton did in fucking 19 um I don't know the exact year he did it, 1997 or something. I don't know. I don't know he did it. Writing in her journal that her father would shower with her. Maybe we should care more about Kamala and her Willie Brown affair. Maybe we should care more about her husband, Doug, getting the name. <laughs> the Willie Brown affair. The Willie Brown was not an affair. That's a lie, too. They, he was already separated with his wife, right? Um, that was not an affair. You can say, oh, she slept with him to get to the top or whatever, but... uh. Former President Donald Trump has been taking hits on... Unpacking the, the hush money. Oh, this is MSNBC. They're liberal media lying. But it's... It, it's um. It's because he falsified business records in commission of another crime. I, I know that that was the charge. That's why it's a felony charge and not a misdemeanor because falsifying business records is, an, is in and of itself just a misdemeanor. But because Trump was doing it in commission of another crime, they, um, you know, uh, 
It's a that elevates it to a felony. So pregnant in his first marriage and slapping his girlfriend. Those stories didn't sway you, obviously. The media barely covered them. So wait, slapping who's slapping Doug, his girlfriend? Nanny, writing in her journal that her father would shower with her. Maybe we should care more about Kamala and her Willie Brown. Or maybe we should care more about her husband Doug getting the nanny pregnant in his first marriage and slapping his girlfriend. <laughs> I mean, I don't really care. This isn't the person I'm voting for. This is D Doug and Kamala's uh, husband, right? Like, what? Well, I'm not. I'm not voting for Doug. <laughs> I'm voting for. Kamala Harris, who didn't even have an affair with Willie Brown, like you said. You, obviously. The media what other crime? I think there were three other crimes that he was accused of. Um, Because people get as mad. People get so as mad about the jury instructions. There were three other crimes that Trump was accused of potentially um, cheating on his first wife. I, like, I, yeah, I don't, Doug is not running for... I'm not even voting for Doug. But there were three other crimes that Trump... um. Uh, Trump was accused of falsifying these business records to cover up. People get as mad because the jury instruction said the jury didn't have to unanimously, unanimously agree on which specific crime Trump was trying to cover up. They just had to agree that he was, they just had to unanimously agree that he was doing it in commission of another crime. And then they personally could have felt like it was any one of the crimes. So long as they all agreed that um, he was doing it in commission of another crime. Um I forget, I don't remember the exact statutes, but, you know, it's, it was like, some, one of them was like a tax fraud thing, one of them was like a interfering in the election thing. We have barely covered them, so let's just move on from those types of stories if we are not going to be consistent in how we talk about them in regards to these candidates. Now, the justice system also went after Trump for taking classified documents from the White House. They literally raided his home Mar-a-Lago. Oh my god, she's gonna frame this one horribly too, isn't she? Oh, she knows she's lying here too! This was a huge, huge scandal. People were going, oh my gosh, she's a criminal, this is awful, the FBI's raiding him. Oh guys, I hate to say it, it's not just him, so let's take it down a notch. It's not just Trump. I... She's just lying! Oh my god! <sighs> Nara contacted him for 18 months, okay? I think it was 18 months, asking him to turn over the documents, and he didn't do it. In fact, he actively obstructed the investigation, he uh, instructed other people to lie on his behalf and, and shuffle the documents around and hide them. That's the reason that Biden wasn't charged and Mike Pence wasn't charged, by the way, and all these other people weren't charged is because you have to, you have to prove willful retention. And then tr so we have a ton of evidence of willful retention for um, we have a ton of evidence of willful retention for Trump. We don't have evidence of willful retention for people like Hillary Clinton and Mike Pence. Um, we do have more evidence of willful retention for Biden, but Biden fucking cooperated with the investigation. And, um, like, the, the her report, the investigation into Biden, the her report literally says on, like, fucking page eight, like, there are major material differences between the Biden's document case and the fucking Trump document case. Because Biden cooperated with the authorities all the time. Biden did not obstruct it. Like, oh my god, what an unbelievable framing. The crime isn't mishandling classified records. The crime is willful retention of, of classified records. And, and Trump was further charged with obstruction. Trump and Biden, every administration since Reagan mishandled classified records, National Archives. That's not the crime, Brett. So this was not the scandal that the justice system or the media made it out to be. And so what I'm trying to say here with all of... What an unbelievable fucking... This. Is that the media lies? We've caught them in their lies. And you might not know it, but... Well, for attention doesn't count when you're too feeble to be... We have more evidence that Biden willfully retained them. But Biden wasn't charged because he fucking cooperated and didn't obstruct it, and didn't obstruct it, unlike Donald Trump, who didn't cooperate and then obstructed. Usually, like, a year later, they go in and they quietly correct and retract these stories. Maybe they'll put, like, a little thing at the bottom of, you know, a page in the New York Times. Hey, we accidentally screwed up. We did this. They don't share that they lied. They don't share that they had to correct anything. I mean, they are so desperate to discredit this man, they have tried to throw him into jail countless times over how he paid somebody in order to stop him. They have lied about things. Oh my God. From his stance on abortion to Project 2025, which while yes, was created by the Heritage Foundation that is a concern. Why did the lawyers make that precise case? What per, who, what lawyers? <laughs> Binance lawyers there. If you cooperate with the crime all after, you're good. That can be a mitigating factor for why you're not charged. You want to, you know that, right? Like that is a reason that people like have sentences reduced or, or aren't charged, right? Like people, that happens organization that was not written, endorsed, or even read by Donald Trump or his 2024 team. The list of the lies, it seems never ending. It is exhausting for us to constantly be like, actually, this is not true. Actually, this is not true. And that fact has only grown his support. And you might not understand why that might literally seem crazy, but to us, he is sort of a hero. He stands between us and a very corrupt government. He stands between us and the media that lies constantly. Sentence was not reduced. It was dropped. Yeah, I said... Did you not hear right after that? I said, that's a, that's a reason. <laughs> Biden cooperated um, more. Isn't a good enough excuse? To excuse him of a crime? I don't want to excuse him of a crime. I'm explaining why Biden, why the, the material differences between what Trump did and why he wasn't charged 
and what Biden did, or Trump was charged, sorry, what Biden did and he wasn't charged and what Trump did and why Trump was charged. That's what I'm doing. I don't want to excuse Biden for willful retention of classified documents. Biden probably did willfully retain classified documents. I haven't read the Her report. I probably will read it at some point. But like, again, like fucking page eight of the Her report, Her report lays this out. Like, yeah. Between us and government elites who literally hate us, all of us, including you and profit off of our plights, whether that be... <laughs> The government elites who hate all of us. I mean, hello, Nancy Pelosi, insider trading. Allegedly, allegedly saying that to my lawyers. Don't worry. This man stands. Also, Trump committed another crime that Biden didn't commit, by the way, which is obstruction. You know that. You can at least admit that, right? Like Trump also committed obstruction. Paul, in his resilience and his hope and his optimism about our future, he demonstrates a positive vision of success and ambition, both in and out of politics. His huge, involved, well-addressed, beautiful family is relatable to those of us who even couldn't dream about having their lifestyle or their opportunities. We still love them and admire them for how tight-knit and intelligent they are. His campaign, it was fun, it was joyful, it was patriotic. Thank God, that was something that so many Americans have missed. And most importantly, it was also truly unified. I hope we understand these cope explanations that are reason Trump a fucking dominant. What is the cope explanation? I'm just upset because Brett is like actively lying about what the about what the crime is and about what the um and about the differences between the Biden case and the Hillary case and the Clinton case and and, and, and Trump's case. Like what Trump did is obviously way worse. <laughs> Biden probably did willfully retain classified documents. Biden was eligible. Biden was. I don't think Biden was eligible for charges because Biden was the sitting president, right? So you can't. I don't think. I think you could only charge him once he's out of office. But uh, but yeah, you could you could charge Biden with willful retention. I explained why Biden wasn't charged, and I explained that Trump committed another crime that Biden didn't commit, which is obstruction. Biden didn't commit obstruction. Biden cooperated with the authorities the entire uh, entirely. That's part of the reason why he wasn't charged. The other part of it was that he's too fucking old. But if he wasn't president, he would be eligible for charges. Yeah, I said that, didn't I? Yes. <laughs> what is shield bear Cooper is? Good afternoon. Yeah, she is a shield. All the daily wire people are. Welcome back, Ricky. And I've mentioned this before, but I'll reiterate it now. So many people voted for Trump, not just because of him. They didn't actually vote for him, specifically. But they voted for him because of RFK Jr., because of Tulsi Gabbard, because of Vivek Ramaswamy and Nicole Shanahan and Elon Musk. <laughs> oh, why are you listing off the worst people, Brett? <laughs> former Democrats. They're actually quite progressive still when you get down to the nitty-gritty of their policies, but they're brilliant minds. <laughs> they're anti-establishment grifters. Like, all anti-establishment people are. They're all grifters. All of whom want to work together with Trump, differences and all. Should Biden be charged after he leaves office? Um... Uh, I don't know. Sure, whatever. I don't care. To yeah. make America better, to make us healthy. I mean, they, again, the issue, I mean, he's too old, so <laughs> that's the that's the issue, right? He probably never be found guilty by a jury because he's too fucking old. I, I want to. I would not have an issue with it if Biden was charged after leaving office. No. Here to make us freer, to make us safer. Well, Kamala got on stage with celebrities and had people dancing and twerking, and she talks about joy and unity. Trump actually lived. You want to be an establishment grifter? I mean, I'm not a grifter, I, but I, I I love the establishment. And so. No. If any Kamala voters even watch this video, I don't know if you even made it to the end where we are now. I hope you did, though. And maybe you're still breathing, which is understandable. We were all breathing in 2020. Maybe you don't feel the joy or the excitement right now. But I genuinely hope that you will join us at some point in the future. And maybe that will take seeing how things turn out. That's okay. I genuinely do not care. Like, we do not have to agree on everything. I mean, obviously, like, so many of us still disagree with Trump on things. But we want a better future that is for the American people, and that is what he is promising. A future that is built on more than just fear and misleading political headlines and celebrity endorsements. And so if you did make it this far, please... Misleading every... Oh, my God. So many of the fucking things you said here are misleading about, like, about, like, every allegation against Trump. Stay for two more minutes and watch this. Oh, I think he sums up how your neighbors, how your friends, how your parents, your kids, or just millions of other Americans felt going into the election and why we feel so much hope, so much excitement, and so much peace right now. What will we do with this... Look, literally go to fucking her report and go to, I think it's literally page eight. Like Trump actively like hid documents and instructed people to lie on his behalf about like where the documents were. Um, evidence supports the inference of Mr. Biden, 2017. Uh, wait, this isn't, uh, okay. It's double defenses, reasonable doubt for charges. Mr. Biden could have... Uh, Oh, is this about his cognitive ability? <laughs> Civil defenses are likely to create the reasonable doubt for such charges. For example, Mr. Biden could have found a classified document. I think they go through all this. Where's the, um, maybe it's page 18. Page 11. Uh, 
Oh, no, page 15. It's not a role to assess the criminal charges pending against Mr. Trump, but several material distinctions between Mr. Trump's case and Mr. Biden's case are clear. Unlike the evidence involving Mr. Biden, the allegations set forth in the indictment, if proven, would represent several aggravating facts. Most notably, after give, being given multiple chances to return classified documents, by the way, I'm pretty sure Biden's lawyer voluntarily handed over these documents, is my understanding, and so did Mike Pence, after like Biden, uh, after they searched like Biden's fucking storage shed or something. That's incredibly different than what Trump did. Mr. Trump allegedly did the opposite. According to the indictment, not only did he refuse to return the documents for many months, but he also obstructed justice by enlisting others to destroy evidence and then lie about it. In contrast, Mr. Biden turned uh, in classified documents to the National Archives and the Department of Justice, consented to search in multiple locations, including his home, sat down for a voluntary interview, and in other ways cooperated with the investigation. In reaching our decision, we did not consider every circumstance in which criminal charges against a foreign president or vice president mishandling classified information may be warranted, but on the fact of this case, the fundamental interest of society do not require criminal charges against Mr. Biden. For this additional uh, reason, applying the principles of uh, the federal prosecution, I think this is just a this is a thing that doesn't let them prosecute sitting presidents. I think, but my understanding is that like the the things that have happened like physically similarish to what Trump did, right? Like where yeah. you know they stored classified documents that, but I don't think there was the knowing element. Uh, I don't think that was demonstrated, and the Biden administration had full cooperation with. The, yeah, like, the you big, know, yeah. federal agencies while Trump obstructed justice at every fucking opportunity. Yep, yep, yep. Um, and that's why her could not recommend any criminal charges. Yeah. I thought there was Honestly, more evidence for, like, fuck Biden Garland for nominating than... her. I, I, I feel like, fuck Garland. Fuck this terrible, <laughs> terrible human. Probably True. good heart, but you, you're like Barack Obama, SCOTUS thing. I mean, I don't know if he could have done anything, but that that was bad. Um, and then, you know, fucking, you know, now we have fucking the her report, which is like, sure, I mean, turned out in our favor, but like still, don't fucking give it any Republicans any inch. Don't give them an inch. Why give them an inch? <laughs> fucking Biden it's did it's interviews it. with her like days after October 7th, right? Right? And... And like, fuck, bro, it's crazy. It's crazy. We gave him way too much. We should not, not have given them an inch. An inch. But whatever. Whatever. I, 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 I just came here to represent the Krug. Um, and it's so gross when Republicans are like, actually, we, we, everyone did what we did. Yeah, everyone was immune. Every president was criminally immune. Every president hurt. Like, <laughs> looking at stored classified documents knowingly. And flushed them down oh, the yeah. toilet or something. Yeah, shit. She, she had a horrible way of framing the 34 felony charges in New York. She was literally like, they're charging him just because of how he paid people. And it's like, are you? Oh. Uh, like, what an oh. unbelievable. Oh. Yo, yeah. <sighs> what, what do you mean? Oh, fucking bribery? Okay, so it's illegal to pay people now? Okay. <laughs> Socialism? <laughs> like, what the fuck? What the fuck? It's crazy. These people are crazy. They know what they're doing, too. Yeah, they didn't think they could prove Biden's guilt beyond a reasonable doubt. The report said there was not enough evidence to prove Biden retained documents willfully. At trial, Biden would likely present himself to the jury as an old man. Uh, and Biden also cooperated with the investigation. Biden held a press conference and said, I was pleased that I reached no conclusion about charges. The exhaustive investigation, 140 years, and 1970, blah, 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 blah. In addition, I know there's some attention paid to language in the report. About my recollection events, it's even a reference that I didn't remember when my son died. How uh, the hell? How in the hell dare he raise that? <laughs> they don't know what they're talking about. It has no place in this report. The bottom line of the matter is now closed. Oh yeah, is this also? It's also funny. Obviously, people like view Mike Pence as like a as a rhino, so maybe the establishment likes him too. But Mike Pence did the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> but he wasn't charged because he cooperated and also they couldn't prove willful retention. I think he literally, I think after Trump was charged, he ordered his lawyer to like search through his stuff or whatever versus like Trump, you know, did the exact opposite, ordered his lawyers to, he ordered his lawyers to lie about it. If you want to chat with me live, sub here or go to nonfon420 on Twitch or Kick via the links below. Once again, please like and sub to help with the algorithm and consider sending a donation through YouTube Super Thanks to directly support me and I'll make sure to reply to any question you ask. See you guys next time.